How everyone, in this video I'm gonna share with you how you can recover from a knee injury. I see hugely in my clinic many people that suffer from knee pain and in this video I'm gonna share with you method that I use in my clinic step by step that you can copy this method and get recovered quicker. If you've never been in this channel, my name is Bob, I'm a physical therapist and the purpose of this channel is to help people like yourself with simple tips and exercise for quicker recovery. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for my weekly updates and don't forget to press that like button at the end of this video. Let's get started. Before we start the exercise guys, I would like to share with you three important tips that can help you to get results out of these exercises. The first thing that you need to know about knee injury, if you had an injury that you had banged your knee somewhere or you had twisted your knee and you had a trauma, I would definitely advise you to get help from a professional like a physical therapist or physio and get a right assessment to make sure if there was any damage to any of the ligaments or tendons around the knee. This can give you a clear head that you know actually what's going on with the knee and you have a plan to follow. But if you haven't had a kind of injury, you didn't fall, you didn't twist your knee and your knee slowly build up to get sore, I would still suggest you to get help from a physio. Why? Because they can give you an idea. You might have a repetitive stress that you don't understand and you don't see it in your daily activity and they can basically assess and go through your history and get you started. The second tips that I would like to share with you guys is that you need to avoid prolonged rest and wrapping your knee with those knee braces. Knee braces are overused and they highly used with people with knee injury, especially chronic knee pain. And they're always using them whenever they do some sort of activity, they go for a hike, they go for a run. And unfortunately, they basically mask the pain, which means they're not gonna literally fix your knee, they just basically reduce the pain and give you extra support. The reality is that you need to use those muscles around the knee and get them stronger and build them up and avoid using those knee braces in a chronic way and in prolonged. In acute phase, you can definitely use them for a very short period of time. After that, you wanna leave them and basically start to get stronger. The third tips that I would like to share with you guys is that you need to follow a plan that challenge your knee and get the muscle around the knee stronger. Having that plan, you need to get help from somebody that can help you understand what activity you're able to do, what are your weaknesses, and based on that assessment, you can get a plan to follow step by step and gradually build your strength, mobility, and resilience. If you need any help regarding your knee injury, I have many video in my channel, but at the same time, if you need further assistance with customized plan, you can always book an online consultation with me that we can go through your assessment step by step, and I would be more than happy to help. I'm gonna share with you now this exercise that you're gonna do specifically if you're following basically a plan that you didn't have an injury and you didn't bang your knee to the wall and you didn't have a twist, this exercise is suitable for you to slowly build up your strength and get you back in action. With having saying that strength, strength is the muscle around the knee has to get stronger. In this video, you can follow this exercise step by step and get stronger. If you have any question, leave me comments and I would be more than happy to help you. Let's get started. The first exercise that I'm going to share with you in this routine is going to be wall squat, which is challenges and strengthen your quadriceps muscle. If you look at the anatomy of the knee, quadriceps muscle has a huge job in terms of knee function. And with strengthening your quadriceps muscle, you can simply help you to get more support to your knee and reduce the pain around the knee. This exercise should be done for three sets of eight to 10 repetition. We're going to move on to hip bridges, which simply can help you to strengthen your gluteal muscle. And if you're suffering from knee injury, strengthening your gluteal muscle can be beneficial in regards to deloading the knee and help you to have more support from your glute muscle. This exercise should be done in a slow tempo for three sets of 12 in full range of movements. We are going to move on to wall lunges, which can be done with the support of the wall and in this exercise you are going to engage your glute muscle and also engage your hamstring muscle which is supporting your knee movement and overall function. This exercise should be done for three sets of eight to ten repetition in each side. Calf raises 
is one of the most neglected exercises with many people that I see in clinic. And if you're suffering from knee injury, with simply strengthening your calf, you're going to give more support to your knee. Calf muscles are divided to two separate muscle. And in this exercise routine, we are simply targeting your gastric nemius. And in three different angle, you're going to strengthen this muscle. We are going to try this exercise for three sets of eight to 12 repetition. Make sure to go through the full range of movements. As I mentioned earlier, with strengthening your quadriceps muscle, you can have huge benefit. And in this exercise, I simply show you how to use a tie extension machine and strengthen those muscle. However, in some cases, my athletes or clients does not have access to the gym and if you do not have access to the gym you can simply use a resistant band and as i show you in this exercise routine you can still strengthen this muscle group in a single leg and uh, manner try this exercise for three sets of eight to ten in each side the following move that you can try in this routine is hamstring kills that you can use the machine and it gives you a chance to target this muscle group isolated and you can try to follow this movement for three sets of eight to 10 repetition in full range of movements that you're bearable. However, if you don't have access to the gym, you can use a dumbbell and follow the technique that I show you here and still get the same benefits of strengthening this muscle group. If you're suffering from knee injury, strengthening your hamstring muscle simply can help you to have a better function in overall movement and it can actually help you to reduce your pain. We are going to move on to sidekick which you can use a resistant band if you have access to it or if you're not you can use your body weight and in this exercise you're going to target your gluteus medius. This exercise can be done next to the wall if you find that you're losing your balance and try to do this movement in both sides for three sets of eight to 10 repetition. The last exercise that I'm gonna share with you in this routine is gonna be wall squat with resistant band, which can simply help you to not only use your quadriceps, but also engage your gluteal muscle. This exercise should be done for three sets of eight to 10 repetition for slow tempo, and you're going to go to the depth that you feel comfortable. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you find this exercise and these tips helpful. If you're suffering from a chronic pain, knee pain, lower back pain, shoulder pain, or any type of musculoskeletal injury, I would be more than happy to help you with more customized and details plan. And we can actually organize an online consultation for your recovery. You can take a look at the link below and book yourself online. If you need further assistance, or if you have any question, we can go through all of your question in that consultation. Before you leave this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel for my weekly update and don't forget to press that like button. Until next week, all the best.